Hey, let's play more. Let's go and fight us another robot master. This is Mega Man 3. I'm Jason, and next we have the most misunderstood robot master ever. Top Man. I like Top Man's weapon. Um, there's a few occurrences in the game where it's actually fairly useful, and why he has a flashing garden filled with flying hardware, I don't know what any of this has to do with tops. This is where the game starts to lose me a little bit. Like, uh, think back to Mega Man 2. Cast your minds back with me, viewers, while we kill. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey, did it. I'm not falling for that one this time. Uh, you think Heat Man? Heat Man had a stage full of heat. Bubble Man had a water stage. Metal Man had a mostly metallic stage. Air Man had a mostly air based stage. Flash Man had a very disco y looking stage. Flashing lights and all that. Um, there were a couple weird ones like Crash Man. Quick Man, it's kind of weird stages, but for the most part, all the robot masters in previous, or er, the previous game anyway. Um, wow, slow down. Crazy. Um, anyway, they had stages that kill you, Mr. Hart, now. That represented basically who they were, right? Well, that, that kind of doesn't work too much after Mega Man 2. I mean, sometimes they do, yeah. But look, I'm fighting a giant robot cat in a glass-covered garden for a top-based bad guy. It's like fighting those guys. I thought they were kind of cool. Guess what we get to fight? Already another cat. For what reason? Who the hell knows? I didn't know, like, cats and tops were... Uh, something to do with something. Nature's equivalent to the top is the cat, I guess? I don't... I don't know. I think they probably had just these, um... Like, these cool plant things laying around from, like, an old DuckTales game or something. Like, oh, we should use those! I hate this part. Some of the floating platforms in this game are so glitchy. You can just, like, fall off. You'll be bounced off of one, really, depending on how you land on it. Anyway, Top Man. Yeah, let's... let's... Punch him. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. He is a top. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh. Hard Knuckle is aimable, I forgot to mention. And it's best if you can stand right up next to your target, because it's quicker. Yeah, see, that took us, what, 20 seconds? Maybe more? Uh, ears, cover them, please. Okay, that takes care of that. And the most misunderstood weapon of all of Mega Mandom, <clears throat> Top Spin. It's actually very useful if you know how to use it right. right there's your password next time, guys. Shadow Man.